How to make mandala designs by programming. Good day! My name is Francis Joseph Serinia, and this video is for programming or math teachers who would like to show what can be done with trigonometry and programming. Feel free to use this or adapt it to your teaching needs. Okay, what do we need? We need a programming environment. I'm using C++ and compiling it in Xcode in Mac. To create the images, I used a lightweight PNG encoder called LoadPNG. I made a C++ wrapper for LoadPNG called CPNG which you can freely get off from my site. Take note, you don't have to strictly use C++ or Mac. You can do this with any programming environment as long as it can draw images pixel by pixel. Let's begin! Create your project and make sure you have the following source codes. You see here the load PNG header and source files. We won't touch that. This is the CPNG header which contains the C++ wrapper for load PNG. This is the CPNG source which contains the implementations. We start off main by including cpng.h and cmath for sine and cosine. The trigonometric functions in C++ expect you to enter angles and radians. But I'm more familiar with degrees, so I made these two macro functions that expect degrees and convert them to radians immediately. Inside main, let's create a 1024 by 1024 white PNG image in memory. Let's draw a blue line to test if it works. Finally, let's save the image as test.png. Let's run this and see what happens. Okay, great, it works! CPNG contains a drawline function which requires at least four floats to indicate the XY coordinates of the starting and ending points. The last four unsigned characters are used to determine the color and transparency. If left out, it will draw black by default. Let's create our first polygon. Let's say I want to create a black equilateral triangle centered on the image. The first point will be at an angle 0 degrees and a distance of 400 from the center. Drawing this counterclockwise, the second point will be here. Knowing this is an equilateral triangle, this angle must be 120 degrees. The radius is the same, 400. The third point will be down here. We can use the angle negative 120 degrees, but I want to be consistent that I'm drawing in counterclockwise motion. So I'll use 240 degrees instead. Again, the radius is 400. The center of our image is at 512, 512. The coordinates of the first point are like this. The second point looks like this. And the third point like this. In code, we implement these three points like so. Compile and run, and you will end up with something like this. Wow, that is so much effort just to draw a triangle, which I could have done easier, faster, and with less math using my hand. Moving on, notice here that the center and radius are all consistent. In fact, only the angle changes in a determined pattern. Let's create variables for our center and radius. Since the angle simply jumps from 0 to 120 to 240, let's use a for loop for that. Let's compile and run and see that it's still the same triangle. Wow, time to make things exciting. What if I want to draw multiple triangles with different starting angles? Let's put this in another for loop with this starting angle. Let's compile and run and see. Mm, now that's interesting. What if I made my starting angle increment smaller? What if I change my color depending on the angle? Let's say I want to make it more red as it turns. What if I want the green component to change as well? This time, it starts with a lot of green and is gradually lost.
color and starting angles aren't our only variables here. We can also change the radius. Let's make the radius initially small, something like 20, and increment it by 4 for every increase in angle by 1. Let's compile and run, and voila! Interesting, isn't it? Just remember, when you're manipulating the radius, the limit is half of your smaller dimension. In this case, it's 512. Our radius starts at 20 and increases by 4 for every increment in angle. Since the angle increments 120 times, that's 20 plus 4 times 120, which is 500. So we're within the limit. What if I had two radii and I alternate between them? Let's make a flag here that alternates. Let's compile and run. And honestly, I don't know how this worked, but it, but it looks nice. You're not restricted to equilateral triangles. We can make an isosceles triangle by changing the angles. We'll have to remove the inner for loop though since that can only make equilateral triangles. Also, you can check out the draw polygon method of CPNG to draw regular polygons. Combine that with different designs and you end up with something spectacular. You know what? The possibilities are endless. Here are a few designs from my students and I was actually mesmerized the first time I saw these. That's it! I hope you learned something new! Feel free to post your works in the comment section below. Goodbye!